Well, there were a few things that I found a little bit surprising when I was reading the articles. Um, I think generally the sense of optimism about the invasion, uh, the reports that were coming back from, say, uh, General Arnold, and saying, you know, the men are in really good spirits and they're quite healthy and we've come through our major expedition, um, you know, two-thirds of us are here, um, and everything was quite optimistic, and the Canadians are going to support us. Um, and given hindsight and what we know, what happened, and the general, I wouldn't say disaster of the invasion, um, but the, the general outcome, um, it's interesting to see the optimism that he had and the way he was reporting this back to the papers. Um, one of the other things I found interesting was the sort of inflation of numbers, how many men they had there. And one of the, um, I'm trying to remember, I think it was... Um, a report that came out, or that was sent in early December and was published in the New England Chronicle, I think in early January. Um, and it was very interesting because they were saying, you know, General Montgomery has arrived at Quebec and he has 2,500 Canadians. Um, he's enlisted them in, you know, in the force and overall there's an army of 5,000. And the army that was encamped around Quebec was 900 people. So it's very interesting. There was this really um, optimistic, you know, this invasion is going to work and let's keep everybody's hopes up. And I think that's a really interesting thing to keep in the back of your mind when you're reading them too.